Hey guys, what up? Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency video. This is going to be a quick one today, just going over my thoughts regarding the MoneyGram strategic partnership and a little bit on the new Facebook cryptocurrency Libra. And before we get started, guys, we are almost to 10K subscribers. I really appreciate it. Be sure to, you know, share and everyone that's supported me thus far. Thanks so much. But let's get into it. So, shared by Cryptomaniac. I know we've seen this illustration around. I just really like it. The tip of the iceberg with XRP. Of course, there's a lot of things going behind the scenes. Um, what you know is most interesting to me out of this is really just kind of Swift 2.0. I wholeheartedly believe in the long term that XRP will completely replace the Swift system. At the end of the day, Swift is really just more so a messaging system. And XRP has obviously changed that and will be the 2.0 to replace that legacy system. Of course, we have you know various partnerships with Earthport. Um, a lot of speculation, but keep in mind this type, you know, these types types of things do not happen overnight. Especially with the Interledger protocol, we are going to completely reform everything. Um, of course, the depositor depository clearinghouse is going to be massive for equities as well and securities. Um, BlackRock, we're sitting on trillions of dollars. There's dormant capital everywhere. The Codia smart contract platform will be massive. Backed, of course, coming out. Fidelity coming out shortly as well. I'm very curious to see if Cobalt really helps. Um, and another thing that I don't see here is the multi-hop as well. So a lot coming, guys. Um, I guess you could say XCurrent 4.0 is similar, though. But I just wanted to share that. And shared by Stephen Diep, this is a great thing. Also, check out the Libra white paper. This is the cryptocurrency for Facebook. And again, just check this out. What is Libra backed by? It'll be effectively linked to a basket of fiat currencies. Why, why is that a good thing? How is this any different? Would this be really stable when it's backed by you know, nothing at the end of the day? So this is the whole point of some of these you know, digital assets is to create a stable token to be able to trade instantaneously. And if you really look behind everything, what is this problem really solving? Makes you wonder. Everybody has a vested interest. And the world is run by greed, so just consider this, guys. I'm just calling this Facebook coin for Zuckerberg. I'm calling it Zuckbucks. So, something to think about. But anyways, let's talk about this MoneyGram partnership. I know everybody's covered this, and I just want to share some things that some great minds on Twitter have shared and maybe add a little bit of you know my two cents. So XRP Darren shared the article. Great website here, the xrpdaily.com to get a lot of news. Highly, highly recommended just for brief summaries throughout the day. And essentially, you know, there's $600 billion moved per year in this market. MoneyGram has 200 plus partners, the second largest provider in the world for money transfer. And XRP Neo at XRP underscore Anderson basically shares a few tweets that I just want to go over as well because I think they're awesome and I, I love these thoughts. So Ripple, the private company, is playing chess as usual. The deal with MoneyGram will put pressure on Western Union. The second biggest money transfer firm will offer their customers a much faster product, minutes versus days for transfers, as well as a much cheaper product. Western Union, on the other hand, will have to implement XRapid as well in order to compete. And this is just his opinion. Again, this is not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. You know the deal. And of course, this is a great graphic. So major retailers, post offices, FIs, and retail outlets in 198 plus countries. And of course, you recognize a lot of these brands and names. And what you have to understand is perhaps a lot of individuals don't use it, but a lot of businesses use MoneyGram on a daily basis. So I just want to emphasize that as well. Because some of you may have not used it, but you probably have inadvertently without realizing. Right here, as we can see, <laughs> of course, you know, I'm sourcing Wikipedia, but <laughs> MoneyGram, second largest, operates in more than 200 countries, global network of 347,000 agent offices. And the timing is pretty suspicious. Um, released, you know, almost the same day as the Facebook token. Makes you wonder. And... What you have to wonder is when they're releasing this information, has there been regulatory clarity on the back end that we don't know about? And someone else shared this on Twitter, and I think it's a great point, that 
this is going to be a domino effect. When this good news comes out, they're going to slowly, you know, release almost in tiers of good news. So I'm excited to see what's coming up in, you know, this month and next month. Right here, the Rippening, my man Bolzarian, Dan Bilzerian or whatever, MoneyGram CEO gave the interviewer an example of sending $15 million to one country in one day and how XRAPID, which utilizes XRP, will help free dormant capital necessary for the pre-funding in these Nostro Vostro accounts. So essentially, it's the whole world. Everything is connected. And the biggest thing that XRP Neo wants to emphasize, even you know, Susie over at Esoteric Trading Solutions has a great YouTube channel. They want to emphasize that when some of these bigger players get involved, they can offer better rates, they can offer better speed, a better product, and that's going to force big money transfer groups like Western Union to adapt or die. And I wholeheartedly believe, just like Christine Lagarde, the CEO of the International Monetary Fund, that banks will be forced to adapt and use digital currencies. They don't have a choice, and this is going to happen with or without you. So it's just where the world is going. You can see patterns and trends and it's just how things work, plain and simple. Right here, again, this is his thoughts and I do like this analogy. So they're gonna go for the remittance market for breakfast, then Ripple will go after small and mid-sized mid banks for lunch, and then go towards the big banks for dinner and dessert. Now that might not be completely true, but I do like that, just pretty cool to think about. All right. Right here, if Ripple's playing a strategic game, they make MoneyGram utilize XRapid. And again, guys, this is solely XRP. This might be the biggest news we've ever received in the XRP community. This is validation that the product is great and will be used for a two-year contract at minimum. And you better believe they've been doing plenty of trial runs on the back end for an institution of this magnitude. So honestly, guys, the price will follow in due time for those of you that hold. But again, feel free to do whatever you want. I know what I'm doing, though. And Western Union will have to implement XRapid as well to not lose customers to their biggest competitor. And what do you think the rest of payment providers will do if the two biggest you know, providers use XRapid? Makes you wonder. We might get a lot of you know, smaller players on board, and eventually it's just going to be a snowball effect. Right here, sending money overseas. Western Union, of course, using their typical network, there's high fees, takes days, not minutes, with MoneyGram settling with the digital asset XRP, two minutes or less. And on some features, it is seconds, but the overall transfer can take you know a few minutes, which is a massive improvement. And again, MoneyGram, they're gonna be saving so much more money to invest, get an upper hand on Western Union, and as well, also save money for their customers, and their customers are going to be utilizing MoneyGram. So what's going to happen is Western Union, if they do not make the change, they'll be losing customers. This is going to happen with or without you. So just something to consider, guys. I'll be getting some more information. We'll be going over some articles later today, but I just wanted to go over some of these great tweets by XRP Neo. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time.